There's a story of a bush pilot in Alaska. He had a lot of clients that were hunters and fishermen, and he was uh, on a special trip taking this one client up to a very remote area. And the bush pilot always carried some sort of survival kit, all the essentials that he would need in case uh, he had to uh, have an issue with crash landing or something with his plane. And so uh, he had a nice survival kit on the airplane. Well, as it would happen, the plane had some trouble and had to be crash landed. The client was in the back with his back broken and the plane began to catch on fire. And so the pilot got the guy out just barely in time and the plane just went up in flames along with his survival kit. And one of the things that happened for the next five days, this guy and his client were stranded and, and until they were rescued sooner or later. One of the things that he said was after this, that he would never be without his survival gear on his person. Now, one of the things he used was a vest. And so whenever he would go flying, he'd always throw on a little vest and have all the essentials for survival on that vest. Well, I'm going to offer you something a little different. And this is something that I've been wanting to get a hold of for a good while. But 511 makes really great tactical apparel. And especially their Taclite Pro Pants, which I was first introduced uh, to these pants by none other than uh, Nutton Fancy himself, who did a review on these. And I knew just from his review they'd be good quality. But we're going to look at these pants and how they can be used because they have so many different pockets and all the different things they have uh, as a survival option in case you're on an adventure and you run into trouble and are separated from your pack or your survival gear. Now I'm going to show you a few of the features. Of course, first off is just having pockets and they're good deep pockets as you can see. Uh, full size, you can put a lot of different things in here. One of the things I really like, though, is this reinforced area right here for your pocket knife, for your folding knife. And uh, it's not only on this side, it's also here on this side, which I usually keep a pin with me and popped right here. But these reinforcements are really important because, you know, if you're like me and you're carrying a knife in and out, it can have a lot of wear and tear. Of course, one of the things, this right here is a pocket and uh, okay, here we have a pocket right here and what I like to do is I have a flashlight of course you've seen the review on this little one little uh, mag light LX50 and then I have a small Leatherman multi-tool just keep those in my pocket and uh, it makes it uh, flat and nice uh, out of the way Now over here you'll see there's a little pocket here as well with a little Velcro flap on it. And uh, I do keep uh, my cell phone in this pouch uh, when I'm out and about. In fact, you could even put maybe the multi-tool on this side and have your flashlight on the other. But just to show you a little bit of what, uh, what this is capable of. And you see the box stitching here. So, uh, and then again, even where the vel everywhere the Velcro runs, there's box stitching to hold that Velcro on. And as you can see, it's very solid, double padded here, and then single here. Now, I do have a U.S. Grunt Gear uh, contractor's belt on, but the loops are nice and heavy duty, double stitched all the way around, double stitched. And then there's a little metal D-ring right here that you can clip on, a uh, little carabiner or whatever, a little, your keys, uh, lanyard, very nice. Of course, the stitching is done very well. One unusual feature are these pockets. Now, they're Velcroed shut without a flap, which I like because you can get right in here if you need to, but then it'll remain secure. On this side, we have a grab handle. So if you need to be pulled out of a situation, this is totally reinforced here. This can be pulled your weight. These pockets are also very deep. Bill fold, of course. And one of the good things about having Velcro is that if anybody ever messes with you, you can hear that Velcro snap if they're trying to take something out of your pocket. Now, of course, there are the large cargo pockets here on the leg. 
one of the things I want to mention about this too is, is it, this gives you a lot of options. If you're doing anything in the field, it's great to have large cargo pockets. In these pockets, I do keep a small first aid kit. And uh, then I have some bandage here as well, just for gauze and whatnot. But uh, this stays together. One of the things that I'll suggest, I do have this in a, one of these little hard plastic boxes. Uh, you could actually put this in some sort of flexible bag and would keep you from actually maybe injuring yourself if you fail. Here again, the other side with the cargo pockets. And here I even have an uh, emergency sleeping bag or emergency blanket, space blanket just to put in my pocket here. You don't even feel it. It's on the outside of your leg, so it makes it very comfortable. There are also knee pads here, double stitched. This protects your knee and also, of course, on the other side. And the, uh, the ends of the pants are just open-ended, which you can stuff into a boot if you need, but there's not a lot of trouble down here. Like a lot of times with uh, the ACU or the BDUs or, you know, with the twit, the ties and everything, and they come undone, and it's back and forth. This makes it just very simple and clean. Now, one thing I'm going to show you here is that this is a snap. There are no buttons. Ladies, calm yourselves. <laughs> but uh, this is a snap, and, and then there's a zipper. And, you know, a lot of times I do have a lot of different cargo type pants and especially military issue and that is a real pain in the butt to, for the uh, buttons to have to be zipped to be buttoned up every time also reinforced here along the crotch and here had these now for a couple of months and have been really wearing them and trying them out washed them a couple of times to really get the feel uh, down to where I like it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put out here on the table just some of the things that are in my pants pockets of course have my zero tolerance 350 which I love this pocket right here of course my flashlight and Leatherman multi-tool keep always keep a pen now these pockets aren't just cram packed I'll put it that way I, these are just some things that you can do um, a nice little lighter here I can put a magazine this is a Glock Model 30 45 ACP magazine. Have some uh, first aid, have a little bit of uh, field dressing there, and then have a small first aid kit. <laughs> and then I have a little survival pack itself that I just throw right in here. It has all the essentials that you need for survival and uh, even to the point of a whistle, a light, and some different things here. And this is just something that was set up by Ranger Rick. I really like this little pack. It's the one pound, everything you need for survival. So, with that being said, those are just some things that you can pack in here. Of course, you know, you can do a lot of different, but I just wanted to give you guys some options, get you to thinking about something for your survival kit. Here you see the knees themselves. They are extra... Um, there's an extra layer in the knee for padding. The stitching is done very well. Uh, there, there's a very loose fitting, and as you can see right here, this gives you full freedom of movement. The material is uh, poly cotton 6535 and uh, very breathable. Like I said, I do have a pair of um, thermals underneath here. YKK zippers, uh, just these are made for outdoor use. Excellent material. Comes in a number of different colors. Of course, these are coyote. Also comes in a khaki, tundra, green, black, navy. Now, one little thing I'd like to suggest for those of you who are concerned about WROL or, uh, you know, when it hits the fan necessarily, is be careful not to depend too much on camouflage. Uh, you know, you may want to be more of someone that blends into a situation, especially in an urban or a suburban setting. You know, I think that sometimes subdued is actually better than camouflage. And, you know, if you can buy a nice pair of pants that are cargo style pants that are just a solid color, and then with a shirt, I think that you're going to, your chances of standing out more as, a, as someone who is prepared 
uh, would be less than it would be if you're you're totally decked out in camouflage. That's just something to, to consider as you're making your preparations. Now I got these from Tim at TacticalDefender.com and he was gracious enough to provide these uh, for the review. It's something I'd been looking at for a while and he and our good friends were just talking and uh, he said, hey, I'm going to send these out to you. Uh, so I just want to tell you as a thank you to him, he will give you a 10% discount if you use Such in the coupon code, Such00. So make sure that you go and check out TacticalDefender.com. He also has a great YouTube channel, which he reviews a lot of the gear himself. So um, TheTacticalDefender.com. I'll have the links and everything in the bottom uh, of the uh, in the description below. So make sure you go check it out. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Now these pants were provided by Tactical Defender. Uh, TacticalDefender.com. These 511, uh, these 511 Tac Light Pros were um, incredible uh, guy to to be a part of, and I, and I tell you, you know, he's just uh, just incredible, incredible.